Well, good Tuesday morning. It's a brisk 60 degrees outside. Had a good night here in the Antietam campground right along the CNO Canal. No more talk. Let's get on the bike and let's get moving. A little brisk this morning, but it's clear and bright blue sky somewhere up there above this glorious canopy of green. I came upon another old lock to walk over and what a beautiful sight, first thing in the morning. Came to a spot in the river where it must be very shallow and there are a lot of rapids here. Such a beautiful trail. Good morning. So when you're riding on this trail, you're gonna find yourself stopping a lot to look at the views. So make sure you allot a lot of time once you get past Harper's Ferry, because that's when the trail really opens up. It's a beautiful, soft, smooth trail to ride, and you get views like this. What do you think? Pretty awesome, huh? Okay, let's keep moving. So I've been about 20 miles this morning and I'm going down the trail. I stopped to have a snack and I found this really nice bridge that's under construction. Well, it'll be nice when it's done, but in the meantime, there's a detour across a bridge over this little stream and then a hill that's actually looking like a wall it's way over 20 percent let's see if i can get up it with my bike i'm not going to try to ride it i will walk it and uh, see if i have to take my bags off made it well i made it up the hill huffing and puffing but it wasn't as bad as i thought it would be Pretty steep though. Let's continue. Done 30 miles so far. I'm gonna do another 15. 45 sounds like a good number for today. So I just had lunch actually at a little grill called the White's Ferry Grill. They make nice sandwiches. So if you're on the trail and it's time for lunch or breakfast, stop on by. About 100 yards from the trail and they have air conditioning and I think it's in the high 80s today. So a little humidity too. So it was a nice reprieve from the ride. I think I've got about 10 more miles and then I'm gonna set up camp. Leaving historic White's Ferry. Thank you, you're welcome. Well, it's the end of the day and today I did about 44 miles and I'm here at the Horse Pen Branch Hiker Biker Campsite. And I've got my tent set up and my bike ready to lay down and lock up. It was a good ride today. I ate my dinner here at the camp and tomorrow is my last day on the trail. I've only got about 26 miles till I get to mile marker zero. So looking forward to that and I will see you in the morning. Well, good morning after a good night's rest and I'm ready to ride the last day of this tour. I'll be going about 26 miles down to mile marker zero in Georgetown. So looking forward to it and I've woken up to a beautiful view. So it's time to get back on the bike. Still magic in the morning. The views just don't stop on this trail. This is probably the most awesome view that I've seen so far. It's 
So I parked my bike again and I'm going to the Great Falls Overlook. They tell me this should be pretty spectacular. Well, that certainly was just the most beautiful waterfall, wasn't it? And this path to get there takes about three minutes and it's nice and cool in the shade. So when you're doing the CNO Canal, you have to stop at Great Falls and take the two minute walk out to the main platform of the falls. It's totally worth it. And if you can find somebody to watch your bike while you go out there, even better. There is a bike rack where you can lock your bike up and take your valuables with you. And this doesn't look like a high crime area, so I think you'll be okay. Well, back on the bike. I think we almost found it. Tide lock. Mile zero. We did it. Well, after many enjoyable days of riding, we finally made it to mile marker zero of the CNO Canal here in Georgetown, Washington, D.C. So it was a great ride, and now I'm going to head to the airport car rental to pick up a car, put my bike in it, and drive home. Well, good morning. After finishing my ride, I spent the night in a hotel I'm driving back to Connecticut right now with my bike in the back and looking forward to getting home. It was a great ride and I've got to take my bike home and then return this rental vehicle. So anyway, that's it for today and have yourself a wonderful day and happy pedaling.